Hey again, seems like this has been a long time coming. Finally, we're at step number three. I'm making a better decision. And first thing we talked about was gathering information, not all the information, so you don't freak out and spend all your time looking things up, pretending like you're working. And then deciding whether or not you're gonna make a decision. And also, making sure that your decision is to take a form of action. So that's steps one and two. Now, step three is probably the hardest part and you're just gonna have to keep on attempting it until you can get closer. And that is to remove all emotion from the decision process. There's, I don't know if you watch The Walking Dead, there's a scene where the sheriff, this guy's name Rick, and they, these people are going through a prison to clear it. And there's an old man whose name is Herschel. And he gets bitten by a zombie. So there's Rick looking at him going, oh no, what am I going to do? And he's got just a couple of minutes. Because when someone gets bit by a zombie, they die right away. And then, depending on the person, there's a given length of time after that before they actually become a zombie. So he's sitting there looking, what am I going to do? So he just thinks for a second, he whips out his hatchet, hacks his leg off. And it's pretty nasty, but it's a very vivid reason of why you've got to take the emotion out. If Rick would have sat there and thought, oh, this is going to hurt Herschel. I don't know if I want to do it. Or, oh, it's going to be icky. And what if it gets infected after I cut it off? <laughs> All these different things he could have screwed around thinking about, but he knew right then and there the proper decision the only decision he could make was to chop off herschel's leg now you'll probably never have to hack somebody's leg off at least i hope not but for every other decision you make you can probably think back on times of your life where you know what to do and yet you don't want to do it for whatever reason it's going to cause you physical fear spiritual or emotional pain or you make up excuses about how someone else is going to feel about it. Whatever it is, I'm sure there are times you can point at in your own life where you allowed emotion to sway a decision and it was probably the wrong one. So that's the steps to making better decisions. Number one, gather up the information that's available. Take a look at it. Two, decide whether or not... Actually, you know, the number two step, deciding whether or not you need to make a decision, should come before the process starts. Because sometimes when you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is nothing. So, let's move that up to, like, A. <laughs> so decide whether or not you're going to make a decision. Gather the information. Look at it. Decide that the, a course of action is what you're going to do. You're not just going to let it slide. And then three, remove all emotion and, and then go ahead. If you do those things consistently, and there's going to be gray areas in all of it, but if you do those things consistently, you'll find yourself making better decisions and they'll get better and better as you go along. So go out and make a decision today. That's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.